When I was asked to choose a person as a security change agent, I thought long and hard about whom to choose. I ended up selecting someone from the early years of information security, and that person is Phil Zimmerman, the creator of Pretty Good Privacy, better known as PGP. Now, PGP was first introduced in 1991, and I realized that this represents the prehistoric era when it comes to cybersecurity. Nevertheless, Phil Zimmerman remains an information security icon. Allow me to elaborate. Zimmerman, who was always fascinated with codes and ciphers, decided to develop his own version of public key infrastructure, or PKI, software that could run on early PCs. This effort turned from a hobby to a full-time commitment in response to a 1991 U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee bill called SB 266. This bill contained language mandating that communication systems permit the government to obtain a copy of plain text voice, data, and other content. Zimmerman was outraged that the feds would demand back doors just as cryptographic technology was becoming mainstream. And this prompted Zimmerman to place the rest of his life on the back burner so he could finish PGP as soon as possible before any draconian legislation was passed. Zimmerman's zeal, diligence, and dogmatic commitment to freedom of speech and privacy resulted in the completion and global distribution of PGP version 1.0 in 1991. The rest is history. PGP became an overnight success and historic victory for personal privacy. And as PGP became increasingly popular, software developers and cryptographic experts from all over the world volunteered to help Zimmerman take PGP even further. This ultimately resulted in PGP 2.0, a much improved version with more advanced encryption, algorithms, and certificate management. It's also worth noting that by creating and distributing PGP, Zimmerman faced a good deal of personal risk. For example, there were patent infringement charges filed against Zimmerman by RSA, and he was also investigated by the U.S. Customs Service for a possible violation of the International Traffic in Arms Regulation, or ITAR. Fortunately, after several years, the charges were dropped. Yes, 1991 is a long time ago, but Zimmerman's initial cause is at least as important today as it was back then. Just last year, Edward Snowden exposed the depth of NSA intelligence gathering programs, leading to broad discussions about surveillance and electronic privacy. 23 years ago, Zimmerman anticipated this friction between intelligence agencies and U.S. citizens. Rather than simply protest, Zimmerman delivered a power to the people solution with PGP. By doing so, he was actually able to influence government views on cryptography and change history. For this reason alone, I'm proud to nominate Philip R. Zimmerman Jr. as an information security change agent.